Tonight on NAZ Today, new health insurance policies will be available for Arizona citizens. How much is the government shutdown impacting tourism to northern Arizona? And one Arizona program supporting women and children is being affected by the recent government changes. Good evening and welcome to NAZ Today. I'm student anchor Brooke Cowell. And I'm student anchor Elizabeth Ball. Thanks for joining us. Today, Arizonans without health insurance can finally shop for policies. The federal government has a website set up where people can find different levels of insurance. They can also learn if they are eligible for subsidies to help pay some of the costs. Local navigators at North Country Healthcare offer help to those with little internet experience. Ten large insurers have filed applications in Arizona to sell insurance. Policies put People have until March 31st of 2014 to buy insurance or face a penalty. Today, visitors from early this morning, the federal government went into a partial shutdown because the U.S. Congress failed to approve a budget. While across the country, 800,000 government employees received furloughs. Closer to home, the public could not access numerous monuments across Arizona, including one of the seven wonders of the world. Reporter Danny Davila found out how this nationwide shutdown affects the residents and visitors of Arizona. Today, visitors from around the world were turned away from the Grand Canyon. On average, the National Park welcomes 18,000 visitors a day. People already camping in the national parks will have two days to leave. Parks and national monuments across northern Arizona closed. Tom Gagne, visiting from Jacksonville, Florida, was angry when he and his wife were denied access to Walnut Canyon. This is going to refocus our plans now if we, if we can't stop at the national parks, which is exactly what we wanted to do. It'd be a little bit disappointing not to be able to visit some of the uh, natural areas of the country. While federal workers wonder when they might expect their next paycheck, members of Congress continue to battle it out with no compromise in sight. And we would like to know what you think the biggest impact of the government shutdown is. Leave us your comments at facebook.com slash NAZ today for a chance to hear your voice heard on the show tomorrow night. 3,800 women and children are served by WIC, a federally funded program that is active in northern Arizona. NAZ Today spoke to the division manager of the Coconino County Health Services District about how the government shutdown will affect the program. The WIC program stands for Women, Infants, and Children. It's federally funded and it's a nutritional assistance program for low-income women, infants, children, and their families. WIC is open for business, so women can continue to come to receive services. They can continue to redeem their vouchers at the grocery stores. The, voucher, the grocery stores can continue to redeem those at their banks. So essentially, there's no change at this point. Well, this morning, we learned from the Arizona Department of Health Services, which is the sponsor of the program, that WIC uh, will be open through, at this point, through the end of October. At this point, we're optimistic. We're glad that we're open for one more month. I'm sure families are glad. Um, and at this point, we're uh, going to proceed as, as business is as usual. Once again, WIC is open, but if you have any questions about the program, their number is 928-679-7250. Find out what NAU Club had a sold-out show this weekend. And one NAU student traveled from one country to another with an interesting means of transportation. Stay with us. I'm student forecaster Virginia Beamer. Beautiful day outside today. Great start to October. Here's a look at the current temperatures across the state. Here in Flagstaff, 62 degrees, 71 in Prescott. Phoenix, 93 degrees outside right now. Like I said, beautiful day outside today. Things are going to change throughout the next couple days. Meteorologist Lee Bourne will have your full forecast coming up. I bought Pepsi Next. What's Pepsi Next? It's the latest cola from Pepsi. It's got real cola taste, but 60% less sugar. Real cola taste, 60% less sugar. Mm. Yeah, mm. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Look, this is the most impressive mm. thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, definitely. Look at the camera. I've never had anything like it. Oh, my parents are going to Yeah, they're going to be so proud. Pepsi next. Drink it to believe it.
Live with a human for a while and you get to know a few things. Like, I know she's actually not a morning person. I know she does strange tricks for no treats. I know that water makes her howl like crazy. I even know how the floor stays so clean. She's quick. But the one thing I will never for the life of me know is how she gets so tiny and inside that box. Natalie, how do you get so tiny? Hi, I'm Terry Markson. As seasons change, so does the inventory at Terry Markson Chevrolet Cadillac. To make room for the 2014 models, we're clearing the lot. And that means great deals for you on our 2013s. Right now, you'll find rebates up to $10,000 on select Chevrolet models. Choose from a full line of vehicles, including the totally redesigned 2014 Silverado 1500. You can always count on our same relaxed, no pressure environment. Terry Markson Chevrolet Cadillac, real hometown value. NFC, AFC, offensive linemen, defensive tackles, quarterbacks, and cornerbacks are all living united to ensure the academic success of millions of kids in our communities all the way to graduation day. But that won't happen without you. So take the pledge at unitedway.org. Make a difference in the life of a child. Suit up like your favorite NFL players and become a volunteer reader, tutor, or mentor with United Way. Well, last Friday, NAU's Bad Jacks dance team held their annual fall show. NAZ Today's Imani Payne went out to find out more about what their preparations for the big day. This past weekend, the Bad Jacks dance team held their fall concert round of applause. I got a first-hand look at what was needed to prepare and execute a successful show. Let's take a look. Aside from outside performances such as basketball games or school events like Relay for Life, the dance team also holds two major concerts each year. With so much work to be done, I went in to find out what a typical night of practice looks like. We start class at 8 o'clock, that's when hip-hop gets here, and we warm up for about 10 or 15 minutes, and then hip-hop uh, learns choreography. We might audition it to have a smaller group. Jazz comes in at 9.30, and we warm up and do the same thing. Sometimes we have a technique class for jazz. Badjacks have become well-known for choosing fun, outside-of-the-box themes for their dance shows with just as unique dance styles to match them. Some of the members walk us through that brainstorming process. We usually all gather up as a group and we all like throw out different random ideas like animals, 80s themes, Disney themes and we usually pick the top five and we all decide. In the past we've done Bollywood, we've done crumping, um, lots of hip hop, lots of jazz, contemporary, lyrical, all kinds of stuff. Speaking of unique styles, there is another interesting factor that sets this team apart from most, the inclusion of male dancers. One of its male members talked with us about how it feels to be a guy on the team and what being a bad jack is all about. I mean, I am a guy, so you know, being around girls is actually fun, especially being around a lot of girls. We kind of bring a more harder hit to it than some of the girls. I mean, the girls can hit it hard too, but you know, having the guys, a little testosterone on the team. Gotta go out there and just have fun. That's the most important thing about being part of this group, being a bad jack. For NAZ Today with videographer Gavin Scott, I'm Imani Payne. For more information on the team and their upcoming events, visit the NAU Bad Jacks Facebook page. From Canada to Mexico, one NAU student traveled across the coast on his bike this summer. If that isn't amazing enough, he rode solo. NAZ Today's videographer Gavin Dunham sat down with cyclist Matthew Riggins and got a first look at this young man's incredible journey. My name is Matt Riggins. I'm 19 from San Francisco, California. My original idea was, I'm just going to ride my bike home from Canada. And it turned into something else. It was about just over 2,000 miles, the route I did. And I started in Nanaimo, Canada, which is on Vancouver Island. And I ended in the border of Mexico in San Diego. It was kind of like the young man's journey. I just wanted to see what I could do if I really challenged myself. That's 
It was something I'd never even thought was possible and I'd never done before. So I figured, what can I lose? So there was times at the beginning when I, th when I thought about quitting, basically because like from Nanaimo, Canada, all the way down to, I'd say Astoria, Oregon, which is just on the northern border, I saw almost zero cyclists. So I felt really alone, because not only am I doing the trip alone, but like nobody else is doing what I'm doing. And it kind of just wears on you after a while. When you're alone for this long and like cycling all day, every day, and that's all you're doing, it gives you a lot of time to think. There's days where it's like 99 degrees out and you can just, you're just so incredibly hot, just wears down on you. Parts where it's pouring rain for days on end and you just never dry and you just want to quit so bad. One of my favorite things to say about the trip is keep the ocean on your right, don't stop pedaling and eventually you'll get there. You can conquer anything, it just, you know, you gotta take it day by day. Most flyers know to allow plenty of time at the airport when traveling, and for many, that time is a good opportunity to eat food like Cinnabon. <laughs> well, no Cinnabon anymore, Liz. In today's Health Minute, we look at healthier options being offered at some airports. Goodbye french fries, adios pizza. Good news for those seeking healthier food options at the airport. Their voices are finally being heard. At Los Angeles International Airport. It's just like going into one of our restaurants on the streets. All of the salads and everything are prepared fresh here at the airport. One of those restaurants is Lemonade. They offer fresh healthy foods like roasted parsnips in a vinaigrette, kale salad with mushrooms and kumquats, and citrus poached salmon fillets. And at Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport. We have salads, we have vegetarian offerings, we have vegan offerings, we have gluten-free offerings. The Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine looked at 18 major airports in more than a dozen states and found that 76% of airport restaurants have at least one low-fat, high-fiber, cholesterol-free vegetarian meal. Bon appetit! For NAZ Today, I'm Virginia Beamer. Will the sunshine last throughout the week, or will we get some wind? Meteorologist Lee Bourne has more. And sports reporter Kaylee Emery tells us went on this weekend with the NAU Ice Jacks. I was an ordinary guy, but I switched to Suddenlink's new internet, and now I can't stop being awesome, because it's the fastest in town. Downloads, uploads, any kind of load, everything just flows at speeds 13 times faster than phone company DSL. Even when the whole family is online, there's no buffering. With DSL, we were suffering. Yep, anything the phone company can do, I can do faster. Now that I have the next big thing from Suddenlink, now that I have a house full of easy. Hi, I'm Lee from the Ski House in Flagstaff, Arizona, and I'd like to show you a little bit of our ski store. We've got the newest products for 2013 from Line, Armada, Rosignol, Scott, Marker, Full Tilt, and many others. If you see something on our wall and you want to try it, take part of our demo program. We have hundreds of demo skis you can try before you buy for as low as $45 a day. So come on up to Flagstaff when you're going out to the Arizona Snowball, and you can be as stylish as our model Holly. She's got some of the latest helmets from Burn, Spy, Nomus, and Pants from Sessions. Not just stylish, but also technical. Ski House, we got you covered, any budget. Here's to the things that can keep us safe. Those we use all the time with hardly a thought. Those that are silently standing by to save our lives. And now, those that we carry with us everywhere we go. Many mobile devices will now bring you wireless emergency alerts, real-time information directly from local sources you know and trust. With the unique sound and vibration, you'll be in the know wherever you are. People think I'm trash, but they're wrong. Today I'm just an aluminum can, but one day I could be a stadium.
All right, you're not going to hear me complain about the first day of October. A gorgeous day out there to start off the new month. High temperature, 69 degrees, very seasonable for this time of year. The average is 68 degrees, 85, the record high set back in 1980. This morning, a little bit on the chilly side. Another frost out there at Pulliam Airport, 31 degrees, 36. The average for this time of year, we've already had some temperatures dropping down below freezing. We're going to see that once again here as we make our way through the forecast. Record low back in recent memory, just a few years back. Hard freeze on this date back in in 2009 when we hit 20 degrees sunset this evening will be at 610 was it 610 we're already past it 62 degrees outside right now clear skies and a little bit breezy with the wind out of the southwest nine miles per hour relative humidity at 28 percent very dry out there very calm weather high pressure in place still for much of the western united states with the exception just like we talked yesterday of the pacific northwest where the moisture stream keeps on going as a matter of fact many Many locations from Seattle all the way down to Astoria, Oregon, Portland included record wet months back in September, ranging from six to 10 inches of rain. And several of those inches came in the last few days of September. We take a look at an area of low pressure that's up here in the Gulf of Alaska that keeps pumping moisture into the Pacific Northwest. That's going to slowly start to move into our region. So high pressures in place, very calm weather. That's going to continue into the day tomorrow. Another gorgeous day for October 2nd might turn a little bit breezy during the afternoon hours. An area of this low pressure system starts to move in here to the Pacific Northwest and then down the Intermountain West here as we get into Thursday. Expect increasing wind on Thursday. It will be a very windy afternoon. Cold front pushes through on the day on Friday. We continue with wind, much chillier temperatures and chilly temperatures continue into the early portion of the weekend before we start to warm things up. So I think we're in for a big wind event beginning on Thursday as the cold front approaches and I think we stay windy all the way into Friday overnight. Friday, the colder air makes its way and will be ahead of the front on Thursday as the wind starts to pick up and behind the front or the front will be pushing through through the day on Friday, and that'll be the chilliest day of the extended forecast. For us overnight tonight, 34 degrees, clear and calm. And tomorrow, we are looking for, as I mentioned, another very nice day, 68 degrees. And I think it'll turn a bit breezy during the afternoon hours, but really not a big deal. We've already had a big of these, a few of these huge wind events, and uh, this is going to be kind of another one. We'll probably see winds gusting in excess of 40 miles per hour throughout the day. On Thursday, statewide temperatures, Sedona 48 tonight, 82 degrees tomorrow. Prescott 46.77 and Sedona 82 degrees tomorrow. Did I already say Sedona? Winslow 82 degrees as well. Tuba City 77. Okay. The extended forecast. Thursday, we're still in the mid 60s, but the wind will be picking up out there. The cold front pushes through Thursday night. Much chillier on Friday. You want to keep that camera over there if you could for a second. Much chillier on Friday and chilly going into the beginning portion of the weekend, but by Sunday, we're almost back up to 70 degrees. Right. I'm not looking forward to that Thursday wind because uh, by the time I get anywhere, I just look like a giant frizzball. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine. And uh, yeah, no, I don't think many people do enjoy the wind around here. Well, Kaylee, will the wind affect any of our sports tomorrow? You know, the wind really shouldn't be doing anything for sports, as I'm gonna tell you a lot about all the high school volleyball coming right up. And we're out. You got plans? You bet. Fifty million Americans struggle with hunger, but we can do something about it. Excuse me. What's going on? Dinner. Please join me in helping put food on their tables. Together, we can feed America. You guys keep going. I'm going to get the plates. Plates? Find your local food bank at feedingamerica.org slash hunger. Body language can tell you all sorts of things. Like someone is having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. Face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty. Time to call 911 and get them to a hospital immediately. Learn the body language and spot a stroke fast.
sure to tune in to NAZ Today every Wednesday at 6 and 10 p.m. for the NAZ Today Car Tip of the Week. This week brought to you by Terry Marks and Chevrolet Cadillac, located on Highway 66. For over 20 years and with more than 65,000 success stories, Coconino Community College's commitment to the educational pipeline is vital to your future. My name is Sheila Holliver. I study mechanical engineering and train as a U.S. Air Force pilot and officer in the CCP to NAU program, which helps students like me transition from the community college to NAU. Upon completion, I'll be giving back by defending our country, and that's why I support CCC. With your support, Coconino Community College will remain efficient, effective, and excellent. We come into the second month of high school volleyball, and teams are really starting to show their true colors. Last year's champs, the Flagstaff Lady Eagles, are on a six-game winning streak. They started their next match at 6 o'clock this evening against Blue Ridge to see if they can add in another win. Trying to break out of a two-game loss, the Coconino Lady Panthers are on the road as well, playing the Moon Valley Rockets. The Rockets just broke out of a seven-game losing streak with a win last week. This game started at 6 o'clock also. Number 12 ranked in their division, the NPA Spartans are on the road taking on the Seligman Antelopes. NPA will hopefully break out of a two-game loss, while Seligman is struggling with a 13-game losing streak. With their game starting at 6 o'clock as well, tune in tomorrow for scores on all three of these matches. Last night in the Rural Activity Center, the NAU girls volleyball team swept Southern Utah, the, the Southern Utah girls, excuse me, 3-0. The win, this win put the Lumberjacks at, in their third in the Big Sky wins this season so far. Janae Vanderplug led the Lumberjacks with 13 kills and Aaron Truitt led with 35 assists. Their next match is against Portland State this Thursday. The start of a new br month brings the start of new seasons over on the ice rink. Today is the beginning of the NHL season and games have started today. But the NAU Ice Jacks Division II team started their season this past weekend hosting the U of A Wildcats. Their first game was Friday night when the Wildcats beat the Ice Jacks 5-1. NAU's forward De Dedrick Weiss was the only one to score in that game. And then on Saturday, the Ice Jacks had a good attempt to come back as both teams scored two goals in the third period. Forwards Kyle Mayer, Connor Sperry, and Adam Serber scored the three goals for NAU. And goaltender James Cordy saved the night with 51 saves. The Wildcats would take a second win 5-3. But the D3 Ice Jacks play this weekend at home against ASU. So make sure to be there and support your team. Even though the Arizona Diamondbacks didn't make it to a wild card spot, baseball is still in action. The Cincinnati Reds are in Pittsburgh to take on the Pirates. The game started at 5 o'clock earlier today, and the winner of this game will face the St. Louis Cardinals on Thursday. And Flagstaff is hosting the Phoenix Suns this week as they start their training up here at 7,000 feet. The new look Suns will be hosting a bunch of events this week, including assemblies at schools, basketball clinics around Flagstaff, and to top it off, a scrimmage Saturday at noon at the Walk-Up Sky Dome. The public is allowed to attend these events, and the game Saturday is open to the public as well. And in Monday Night Football, the Saints hosted the Dolphins, and we're going to take you here into the first quarter. Drew Brees fakes a throw, handing it to Darren Sproles for the first touchdown without even being touched. Now 7-3 in the second, and Drew Brees will be clear, throwing it down the field for Jimmy Graham to catch that one in the end zone. Nice catch. Saints still up by this time as Brees looks for an empty spot, throwing it to Sproles, who was open for an easy catch and another easy touchdown. And by the third quarter and the Saints still up, Brees looks for another open player, throwing, out, throwing it out far to Graham, who will catch that and get another touchdown. This game would continue, resulting in a home game win for the Saints, 38-17. Volleyball, girls volleyball is doing really well. I think they're leading the Big Sky Conference, right? They are. They're doing really well so far. So hopefully they could keep it up. Definitely. All right. Well, thanks for the update, Kaylee. We'll be right back.
you drive buzzed, it could cost you around $10,000. You'll face major legal fees, major fines, and steep insurance penalties. You could lose everything. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. At Northern Arizona University, green is a school color and who we are. Being green creates jobs. Money put back in the economy. Being green is recycling resources. The same prize that power our students. Power Northern Arizona. Being green shapes our future. Through research and education, we will make a difference. At Northern Arizona University, sustainability is a principle we believe in. Northern Arizona University, the difference that matters. Look at me. Hey. Raymond, look at mommy. Maybe the light hurts his eyes. Maybe she's just not hungry. Maybe he can't hear us. Ooh. Maybe we're not stimulating him enough. Maybe it's a phase. Avoiding eye contact is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. All right, welcome back, folks. Another gorgeous day in store for us tomorrow. 68 degrees, a little bit cooler on Thursday. Wind will be picking up during the day on Thursday. It's downright windy day. Continue windy conditions into Friday. Much chillier out there on Friday with a high temperature of 57 degrees. Still a little bit cool on Saturday. Wind starts to back off a bit. And uh, by Sunday, right back to very seasonable temperatures. All right, thanks, Lee. A couple from North Carolina didn't take a traditional walk down the aisle on their big day. They zipped. Take a look. They took advantage of the zip line course at their venue and zipped to the altar. They did run into a slight hitch and had to pull themselves along the final few feet. But the couple says it was all in good fun. It, that looks like fun to me. I think that would be a pretty fun thing to do on your wedding day. Definitely. You know, I've always kind of thought that hopefully I would go skydiving on my wedding day. A little too much adrenaline for me. <laughs> <laughs> but remember to tune in to NAZ today, tomorrow night. We will have two representatives from the Phoenix Suns live in the studio. The Suns... The Suns are in Flagstaff this week for training camp and other events in the community. We'll have more information for you tomorrow night. Also uh, yesterday we said we would have an interview for the flu shot, but due to the amount of news today, we will have it for you tomorrow. So, you know, flu shot. Do you plan on going to any of the games tomorrow, Kaylee? Um, I'm going to try with class. It's kind of difficult, <laughs> but I'm going to try to go to as many. What about you guys? I don't know. We'll Probably see if I can not. make it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for joining us. See you tomorrow.